Move y'all back a little, I think. There's the angle. Might be a little better. If you're not quite so close to see this edge here. much it now I'd say the doors themselves are finished now I'm gonna be working on how they hang and how to lock them and how to open them <laughs> oh the joy And I'm going to put a fresh battery in my little screwdriver gun and we'll come out and we'll work on that overhead piece a little bit more after that. Ready to mount them? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I had those little pieces of rebar stuck up there, but they weren't really mounted. They were just kind of something to put them in place while I was figuring it out. Uh -huh. so now I'm going to make some real mounts out of uh, pipe and, and uh, threaded, ro threaded rod. Alrighty, well, I got a good start there, but I'm gonna have to run into town and get me some more washers and nuts. As I am prone to do, I misjudged the number I would need. None of you other dyslexic souls out there ever do anything like that, I'm pretty sure, but I do it all the time. It's like one of my special tricks. If there's a way I can get it wrong, I generally will figure it out and do it that way. Makes life more interesting than people that do everything right. Now this might work. I've got a lock in a nut here. Hmm. If I had a washer to go with that, that would probably be a trick. It's the right size. Okay, let's see what I'm doing, can you? We got couple of these washers. Alrighty. Guess I'll line the town. Get me some. Good excuse to get the round out and drive it. Oh the joy. Morning everybody. The good Lord has blessed us with a ridiculously beautiful day today. And I'm so happy about it. I'm uh, probably going to have to run to town in a minute or two. Uh, the preacher I sold my pickup truck is supposed to meet up with me, and we're going to seal the deal and get some business done on that. Uh, I made this. I didn't make much of a video the other day about hanging these doors, so I'm going to kind of look at that process a little bit. What I did was uh, I put these bolts through that, and I... I put them through a piece of conduit pipe so that rather than having the bolts in there where you, it, they'll jiggle around and kind of wear out the wood, they actually pass through a piece of conduit that kind of gives them a track to sit on. And I went around on the inside and uh, kind of bolted them up there. Now let's just say if somebody wanted to try to get this down and they wanted to come out here and turn this, well they could turn that but it wouldn't loosen the bolt because the bolt would just turn, so that wouldn't necessarily help someone to get inside there. Um, so, you know what I'll do is down here, I'll put something like a rod or something to keep these doors from, keep people from being able to yank, move these doors around. That's, that's a part of this I hadn't got to yet. I'm kind of moving toward a different idea, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to move us around to that, but before I do, I want you to notice, if you look back in there, there's a goodly bit of room. Uh, and on this side, there's a goodly bit of room. Now, uh, and this is a kind of a long story, so I'm just going to start talking and 
tell you about it as we go. Um, Honey Baby has a back, and, and I don't know if I do or not because I never feel my back, and I never really had a back problem. Some people do. And Honey Baby from time to time says, oh, my back's sore. Got to get a new mattress. So she'll buy a new mattress, memory foam, something like that. And then it'd be up to me to get rid of the old ones. So I usually give it away. But I got to thinking this time, um, if you look up there, there's a, a goodly bit of space. And that mattress is five feet wide. And I'm pretty sure it's shorter than that space there. That's about an eight foot space. And I think it's about six feet long, something like that. And when I built that, I was thinking this is making a nice little tiny hideaway attic bedroom. And I think I could put that mattress up there because I'm planning when I go back to Maine to leave this car here and then either drive the Jeep or the truck back down here. And if I had a place to sleep overnight down here, they had a bed, which that would give me, um, then I could just camp out down here without the RV being here and I got those big piles of insulation down there that I could put up in the roof so I could insulate that area from the heat and the cold. Uh, now, also, <clears throat> this boat here is 16 feet long, and that building I just built back there is about 22 or 3 feet long, and this isn't so wide that I couldn't slide it in beside the bass boat back there. And <clears throat> I've got a septic tank right over yonder on the other side of that building and I could very easily drop a pipe down a drain pipe run it over to the septic tank I could put a toilet in here I could put a sink um, I cook a lot of times with that uh, in, that fryer I got this fryer thing uh, what do they call that a super fryer or air fryer I got an air fryer I got a tiny pot which would do for cooking most things that I'd want to cook I could get a hot plate too if I wanted to in effect, I could wind up with a bedroom, a bathroom, and some cooking facilities. I could even put a sink in here. And I got stuff in here that could go out there. For example, there's a great big generator under there that belongs to Bill. I could get it out and, uh, you know, put it back yonder. And, and all these things on these shelves could go out yonder on some shelves. And I could literally clean this space out. I got a little thing here I could use for, you know, kitchen cabinets cleaned up and painted up. You put me a bathroom, a kitchen, a bedroom, all in this little building right here. And that way, let's just say I was up in Maine and I had a hankering to be down here. I could just jump in the car, come down here. I could sleep in here and, you know, do my business, my cooking and my whatever in here. And then, uh, and then, you know, even if the RV wasn't here, I could still come down here and camp out. I like that idea. Uh, I could, these, uh, boards that are on this wall, these, uh, this, this press board stuff is basically it come off pretty easy I could slip some insulation back in there behind that and go up to here with some insulation I'm sure I got enough insulation down there to insulate this whole building right here pretty quick and easy hmm so that's what I'm thinking about this morning none of that's going to happen before we leave and go to Florida we're going to Florida in a day or two or three or four um so probably what I'll do is just get this barn where I can lock it up. And I'm pretty close now. I mean, I could run a chain around some stuff and call it good now. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I don't know what I'm going to do today yet. Because I'm waiting to hear on the, from the preacher. Because we're going to go get the paperwork finished up on that truck. So that he can get it in his name. And, and I can get the insurance off of it in my name without having to renew that. So... Those kind of things are keeping me from plowing into work that I'll need to unplow from later. But let's go back here and look around a little bit. Uh, I was talking about, I was talking about, I don't want so many shelves and things in here that it uses up all the space. On the other hand, uh, I could see, uh, I could see options. Yeah, I could see options. Um, it might be kind of handy to, well, she's talking about selling her uh, rowing boat. Anybody knows anybody that wants a rowing boat, honey baby's talking about selling hers. But, uh, 
No, I bet I could I could get a lot of stuff in here and I could get a lot of stuff that's in that other building, which is only being used for storage right now. But it would make a handy dandy little camp out thing, you know, camp out in there and all. I could do a little more wiring, give me some plug-ins. I could put me a stereo out here, get me an eight track set deck, you know, I could get the maybe a Bee Gees album and maybe some Beach Boys. I get me I get me a Beach Boys album, you know, get them singing Little Do Scoop. You don't know what I got, you know, stuff like that. I mean I could just be it'd be like being a hippie all over again. I could be back in my hippie days. Well you have to keep in mind I was Southern Baptist, so I wasn't much of a hippie, but Hippies existed while I existed. I'll just say that. And we wore bell-bottom pants and had sideburns. You ask Cutworm about that. He knows all about sideburns. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's things. There's things that could happen here. Oh, and I got, see, I got this space up here. Most of that stuff up there. Let me turn y'all around. Most of that stuff up there came from my parents. And I don't know what to do with it. Probably, I'd love to give it to my brother's kids or something. I doubt if Josh would want it. He might. I don't know. I got to figure that out, too. So I got some space up there, too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to figure things out as I go. But uh, I like the idea that I got some ideas. You know, um, I sold a boat and a motor the other day. And I think when I did that, well, you know, if you kept that, you could do, you could make that into a little project. And I got to thinking, no, I don't need another little project. I got a lot of little projects. I got enough little, I can create enough projects around here to keep me busy for a lifetime and a half. Hey, honey, baby, you going out to run? Yep. Well, I'm going to here, then you're off to meet. You tell the YouTubers hi uh -huh. and bye uh -huh. and go have a good run. And if I'm not here when you get back. I'll be doing that. Yeah. You want me to take my car so I can leave you your car? Yeah. I don't, whenever you get back, I don't know if I'm going anywhere. So. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. 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 Have a good one. Yeah. I'm telling him all about my new living room and <laughs> bedroom and kitchen <laughs> and dinette set. I'll tell him about getting me an eight track cassette, get me some Bee Gees and some, you know, Beach Boys CDs and. You might want to put the AC in up there if you're going to sleep up there. <laughs> well, yeah, I could do that, too. I could, I, could little, I could air condition the place, you know, and uh, I'd get me a lava lamp. i get me a lava lamp, baby. Yeah, lava lamp, yeah. I was just telling him I could be a hippie again, and then I told him I never was a hippie because I was a Southern Baptist, and you weren't supposed right. to be a hippie. And a, you can't be a hippie and a Southern Baptist at the same time. No, back then you couldn't. oh no. You could, you probably couldn't now, but back then, no. It was, no. There was rules against it. There was rules oh, against yeah. it. I'm just saying, there was rules against so it. So how are you going to put a bathroom in here? Just <laughs> do that again. Just like that. Yeah. That's how I'm going to do it. Oh. Put a wall up. Oh. Yeah, just like that. So while you're here, you mentioned if there was room for the boat. Just walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this, walk this way. way. Walk this way. Just go through that door right there. <laughs> yes, sir. Just give me a kiss. Yes, do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got carried away. Now, you see how much room yeah. is there? And over there, yeah. there's room for two or three boats. Yeah. 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 I mean, you might want to think about doing that just to give you more room in there. You know? Well, now, yeah. I yeah. might want to just roll. I can roll that boat around here and just slip it in here for now. And, yeah. And, and then uh, it's out of there. Then it's out of there. And um, then, yeah. Well, the oars in the, in the rack are up, up, hanging up, so they shouldn't be too much in your butt. I could hang. I could. But hang them up out here too. But I wouldn't want to build anything in. But I need to list it, so I need to sell it. Whoops, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't push. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job, honey. Yeah. Thank you. Are those going to open out to get the boat out? With that piece of I'm actually going to lift them off and set them aside. So they they've got little they've got little pins up here. And that, yeah. yeah, see these little pins with the bolts with little screws. Ah. If I just unscrew those, I can I can I, I've designed it so I can lean this back and then kick the back out and then go out with it 
without having to without having to turn any corners or anything. Wow. And then I can either lean it against the outside or I could turn it on its side and put it over here, you know. But wow. uh, and then I don't I don't need this to be up unless we're leaving, more or less. Right. So right. Um, you know, they, they don't need to be hinged or right. anything like that. So, yeah, that's the plan. Huh. That's the plan. Huh. Yeah. We could lay them just like inside, you know, when we well, for a season. I could like, lean them right against that wall. I thought about that, huh. too. So, yeah. I mean, they fit there because, yeah, yeah they, sit, they sit right over there. Just fine. Yeah. So. Yep. There's options Good here, job, baby. Good job, honey. We got yeah, such a little engineer. I'm a little engineer. <laughs> I'm the little engineer that could. Doot, doot. Mm. Little engineer that could. <laughs> it's chilly. Yeah, well, you better get running. You better get running. I better get working. I don't know if I'm going to need my gloves. Gloves? Might need some gloves. Okay, then. Probably not. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, I could roll that boat right on around there, slide it in to see how she fits. Ooh, yeah, mm, yeah. So good. Give me some space to move around in here. Let's see. Let's see. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. So I think since we started talking about it, I'm going to go over there and kick that door out and off and bring that rowing boat around here and just put it in there. Just kind of see how it all looks. You can see there with what I just did, I didn't even have to lift that door. All I had to do was tilt it, rotate it, slide it into place by the way that back wall where you see daylight that's gonna be closed but let's get the boat out let's get this rowing boat out we take it back and we slide it in just you know just so we can see that's what we think about that Y'all might remember I made this because I wanted it to be a pretty mobile kind of setup. Oh yeah. That was really quite easy breezy. Uh, you know, when I pull the boat out or put it in, I want to pull her boat out. I don't want to take a chance on hitting it. But it's uh, not completely all the way back. But it's back so that, you know, there's a ladder, a boat ladder back there. It's about a foot, foot and a half wide. And I still got plenty of room up front here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh let's go see. Let's go see what the other building looks like with that gone. Oh look at all the space. Mercy sakes, great balls of fire. Well heck yeah, there's room for a there's room for a palace in here. <clears throat> sure is. Huh. Yeah, sure is. Hmm. 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 Oh, I like that. I like that real good. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure do. Okay. See, there's a lot of stuff in here that don't need to be. 
like this is this is uh plumbing stuff that I don't need but once in a while I don't need it every day and that's an overhead fan which might be cool to put in one of these buildings there's a boat propeller and there's a chainsaw and there's a cooler and there's a barbecue grill and there's another barbecue grill and a bill generator and there's an old heater that I'm never going to use they make things I need every day I don't need to get my hands on them every day I only need them once in a while those could be shelf animals out in that other building there. Hmm. That generator, I ought to get out. I, mean, I want to get it out and get it where it cranks up so I can crank it up from time to time because otherwise I'll need to clean the carburetor out. But I could put that in the garage and then I'd have it in there where I would be, you know, walking around it from time to time so it would encourage me to I think it might have an electric if it's kind of electric starter and I had it in there I could throw a battery on it and start it up every so often speaking of that I need to crank up the bat, the generator on the RV and make sure it still works yeah there's a lot to be done a lot to be done with this all oh the joy yep all these rafts could go up on the back of the boat Take that fire pit out and put it somewhere. Oh, the joy. Oh, the joy. What I've done there is I, I put that up there to hold that rack because that rack is part of her rowing boat. It only comes out when the boat comes out by sitting back there. It's really not in the way of anything. Uh, she also has her oars and I'm trying to think of a good place to put the oars for storage. Same idea, some place to get them up out of the way and I've got some hangers that I have on the wall in that other building. I could probably bring them around here. I might could put them kind of up along the rafters overhead. Let me go uh, Let me go get those hangers from the other building there and I'll come back and we'll look at that some more. boat to become a flat surface to use for putting stuff on and that's not the best use for it. Um, Honeybed just mentioned having the ladder here and I'm thinking yeah I might want to set that ladder somewhere else because you know I might want to get the ladder out and with the boat here you know it's hard to it'd be hard to walk but well, you can't walk back into the boat here so you might want to hang the ladder somewhere else but uh, may not be necessary to decide right away. And I thought about putting some boardage up over in there to put some little pieces of stuff on. Let me show you. In fact, I could probably hang it up there and show you more quicklier. I have to walk around there and plant it. 
I got a couple of pieces of boardages right here. Let me grab my screws and my boardage. <sighs> got my screws and my boardage here. Ooh, ah. Oh, do 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 Got put a few boards up there. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I mean, it's one of those. It's one of those possibility tries. Could be done. Doesn't have to be. But don't think about. So let's think about that ladder. What if I moved that ladder and just put it right here? That'd be pretty much out of the way there. I think, and then it wouldn't be over there where her boat is. Just go around and unscrew those screws and move them right over here. I think I've got the right kind of bit on my screwdriver for that. Can't say for sure, but you never know till you go and look. I think I might want to do is I might want this ladder where I can get to it. And get out that door up there without having to swing it around the boat. Hmm. Another thing. Oh, so many things to think about. Organization's kind of fun sometimes. And then I'll see what the screws are sitting there. Yeah. I may just leave them screws. Yeah, those are bullet heads anyway. I think I'll just leave them there for now, but I'll go ahead and put the boat back in here. Put it all down here. I wonder if I could block these out too. Now these might hang on this thing. I'm not getting away the boat. And then we can maybe slide the boat back in there. Cheers. Yeah, they didn't have Cheers. I said cheers, didn't I? What do you mean cheers? These things. Yeah. And then I can slide this boat back right back in there. So, anybody was talking about selling this rowing boat, and I can tell you, these things ain't cheap. A new one of those things right there, with the rigging and everything, run you about four grand or more. And uh, she says she's too old to do it anymore. I don't know if I want to agree with her assessment, because I don't think of her as being old. I think of her as being quite young. You know, because she's active, and she's fun, and... Ain't no signs of old age that I can see there, but it's not for me to argue, it's just for me to, you know, go along with and adjust. So, uh, and if she wants to sell it, you know, it's her boat, she paid for it, it's her money if she wants to get it out and spend it on something else. Um, but I think that's good, that gets that up in there where it's out of the way and it's not in a lot of foot traffic. And the only thing I have to do is just make sure to uh, move this boat out, I mean move that boat, move her boat out before I move this boat, just like, scuff it up, or anything. I could just sit over this in here too. Almost, that's good one, yeah. So this stuff right here is, a, I got some roof, roofing 
So now I'm going to be doing that before too long too. Let me check my phone make sure my preacher ain't tried to call me. I expected I'd hear from him by now. It's in here. It's in here. It's in here. I guess I'm still on standby and that's okay. Because I got things. This is kind of fun. I'm doing things. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. So, let's just walk. Let's walk back around. I guess another thought for that ladder is I could stick it right in there because. And then I can move it back, you know, like if we get ready to go someplace, we can move it inside the garage. I can move it out here in the meantime because it's not really a place where I'm going to be walking around. Right? We just set that there for now. I'll set it someplace else for later. It ain't where it's gonna stay, but it gets it out of the way for now. So, yeah. All right, let's go look at our other space. I don't know if I've said this clearly or not, but next week we're going down to Florida. We're gonna visit Bill. We're gonna visit Eric Polson. I might go look up Rusty Acres. He's down there somewhere. Uh, I got a fella I used to drive a truck with who was a retired state patrol captain, and he winters down in Florida somewhere. I might look him up. And, yeah, stuff like that. So, maybe I should put my bathroom up in that corner. It's going to be a lot easier to get under the building there, and I can run a pipe out and under this building all I need is enough drop to get to that pipe over there and that pipe uh, goes down in the ground a goodly way so I could actually I could actually dig down and connect to that pipe from underground and I'd need to dig up uh, some stuff across here but I could dig up a line I run it across back to that other corner back there. That would be the hardest part. It'd be just digging up for that for that drain pipe. But it's doable, quite doable. Hmm. Sure is. Well, I could put it up here, but it'd be hard to get up under the building. In all. I could put it up here and run it probably right on top of the ground, but that would be tacky. I don't think I want to do that. I think I'd rather hide my pipe. Oh, look at that space. Yep. So. Hmm. Hmm. So. I think what I was planning to work on today, but you know me, sometimes I start off in one direction and I wind up going in the other. Just willy nilly. Just willy nilly. That's the way I am sometimes. Sure is. Mm hmm. Sure is. Alright. Alright. Now I've got an old gas heater Bobby gave me. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but it would sit on that shelf back there and be completely out of the way next to where that fan is, way back there in the back. I think just for the sake of getting started doing things, I think I'll, I'll go get that and move it, and I'll take this wood and I'll set it out of the way somewhere over here. Anybody seen me here? Getting wet. Probably a good idea. That'd be getting wet. Dang. And this saw don't need to be back here. And I got some wiring things that I bought for here. But 
thing that's not here. What you need here for now. I'm probably more likely to want this fan before I'm going to want that heater, so I can get that heater. I'm going to get it and I'll set it back there. That'll be one thing out of the way. That's a start. Now this is one of these things that once I set it, once I set it back here, I'll probably never move it. It'll probably sit here forever. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. It's one of them old-fashioned gas heaters. It's probably plumb or LP gas. And you'd have to change the jets to burn propane in it. And on top of that, it's probably less efficient than one of those little Mr. Buddy heaters. Everybody uses nowadays when they go out their RV. But, Buddy said, I'm going to haul out the dump if you don't want it. And I hate to throw it away. And I thought, well, yeah. I know, I hate to throw stuff away too. So he gave me stuff that he don't want to throw away. And now I got stuff that I don't want to throw away. So I guess it serves the purpose of being stuff that I don't want to throw away. Although I'd kind of like to not have it. I suppose I could stick it down there. Down there instead of up there. <laughs> Maybe. It does have a little weight to it. Maybe it'd be better on the ground than being up here. Ah. I said a little weight. Got a lot of weight. Quite a lot. Actually. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know what to do with it though. Maybe I'll put it back where I had it in the first place. Huh. I could sit it on the side, but I'm still going to have that thing on the back. No matter how I sit it. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I could sit it backwards. And then this thing on the back would be facing out. Like that. All the stuff right there, buddy. Okay. Okay. It is what it is. Use the dirt dauber's place to build a nest. You know. Okay. Okay. Okay, then what I just did there was I just used some old pieces of leftover tin to go right there on that end where I had a little opening. And I think what I'm going to do is take uh, this flower right here that Eric Holson gave me and set it right there to cover up and kind of hide the, the joints because I didn't... I didn't come back and cut every one of them straight. I just let, I just put it up as it was. Uh, and, you know, it gives it personality. <laughs> when you don't do it exactly the way that 
some people might think you should. If that is a good idea or not, but that's what I just said. I'm going to live with it. So, yeah, I'm going to take and move that flower over here, and I might take and move. You know, there's something about the, uh, there's a word when everything is even, and Bill used to use it a lot, and I can't remember what it was. I'm going to say synchronicity, but that's not it. But there is a word that I can't remember. It means everything is equal to everything, and everything lines up, and sometimes that's a good thing. But sometimes, like for example, in the composition of a photograph, I remember reading once that it's more interesting if things aren't completely asymmetrical. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. So I'm going to asymmetricalize the shed. I might put two flowers on one end and a star on the other. Not bad. I don't know. I'm, but I'm just asymmetricalizing the setup. See, I think I'll put the other star right there. Star, flower, right over there. Uh, well, at some point, I'm going to want to pull these down because I'm going to put tar over the spots and uh, over the holes, but not today. Today they're going right back up there. See now, just for the sake of asymmetrical yes, I'm going to move that star down there. Now, I know that the building is in the shadow. I don't know if that'll keep you from being able to get a good look at it or not. And I got room for something in the middle. And I had talked about I might buy me a Coca-Cola uh, stencil and do like a Coca-Cola sign in the middle or something. But for the moment, I'm just going to change that to like that. And we'll look at that for a few days, see what we think. Now I've also got some signs. I've got the, the tag that Mike Mayern gave me and another sign that I want to put up over here. Uh, but I also want to take those doors down and do some welding on them to fix the little bolt thing that's going to go in the back. So I think what I'm going to do is drive the the trailer up and park it right next to the door take one of those doors loose and let it fall over the trailer and take it around there and weld some metal to it that I have marked previously from the inside uh, so I'll let y'all sit just right here while I relocate as the mower I think I'll take y'all inside uh, while I take a door loose. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing in here. Now see that's this with the with the wall closed up instead of open like it was. Uh now I just I just pulled my cord out there which plugged in my lights. I'm gonna plug my light back in. One of the other things that's on my list for here is uh, to wire the little garage here, which I will be doing, but not today. I might also want to put me a couple of little braces over on that piece of wall I just made. And actually, if I got some little two before pieces, that might work pretty good for that. Warming me up here. Are you inside? Yes, I'm, I am. Uh huh? They're all closed off over here. Yeah, what do you think of that? Yeah. Want to come on in? Yeah. Charlie! Here I am, Charlie. I'm over here.
Here we are. Tires. Tires are important. Tires are very important to a doggy. <laughs> the tires are very important to a doggy. You know, I was just about to weld a piece of something to use as a, you know, a locking bar. And now I've got this, look at that hole right there. And if that hole was open all the way through, I could stick something right inside of that. That would be a trick real good right there. Yeah. Because it would have the benefit of the hole and the extra bracing. See? Yeah. You see, this, this stuff here fits inside of this wow. here. So if I cut a little piece and stuck it right where I just had that, and then I could stick a piece of this. Of course, it'd be shorter, and then I could slide it in and pull it out. Isn't that what you did with the other one? Kinda? Of? Yeah, were you doing that with some? Out, that's the other? It's pretty darn similar, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty darn similar. Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. So you're on YouTube, everybody loves you on YouTube, so you want to look up and say anything at all to the YouTube audience, because every time you talk, everybody just... Oh, it's Trish! I got to see Trish! Oh. Everybody loves you, honey baby. I'm just saying, I'm okay with it too, I ain't jealous. I don't have a whole lot to say. <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd give you the offer, you know, fame and fortune awaits and all that. Okay, so I'm about to rip that door down and throw it on that trailer. Huh? I'm about to pull that door down and throw it on the trailer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's we'll my see next where thing. our dog went off to. He likes to disappear. I think he went that off. way. I think he went back out the door. <laughs> he did go back out the door. Yeah. I think he did. There he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I might a piece of this. Right. Here. Hi, baby. Okay, well, I'll make a mental note to put a piece of that right there. I think I'll put a piece right here, see. Kind of those two together like that. Hmm. I could do it like that, see, where I'd have the two. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing, but I got, I can brace these on two spots, two different spots if I did it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get me a pair of vice grips and put on that and hold one side in place. Then when I bring it back, I'll put vice grips on the other side. Oh, the joy! It'll give me. So when I weld that on there, instead of just one piece, I'll have it welded to two pieces there. Turn y'all off while I go get the vice grips. Be right back. Charlie back here running around. He loves that. See if we can see him this time. Nope. Must have went all the way. <laughs> He's a cutie. He's a cutie. So I could go ahead and grab piece of pipe and I 
I want to use. I'll throw that up on there. I think I might want a couple of... I'm using these little leftover nubby bits that I cut off. Let's see, I can put one right here. I'll put one over there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. I think I'll leave these gloves here because when I get around yonder, I'll be wearing uh, welder gloves. So, by the way, I have a YouTuber that has volunteered to give me some gloves. And he sent me an email and said, I got a pack of these gloves and would you like to have them? And, you know, when, when we was kids, and sure, for some of y'all it was the same way, my mama taught me that the answer to anything anybody ever wanted to give me was no. Like, somebody say, you want a glass of tea? No. No, ma'am. You want something for supper? No, ma'am. You want this? No, ma'am. Because mom told me not to accept gifts because it wasn't polite. And I've thought about that lately. Uh, I've had a few people just offer to send me stuff. Or sometimes they just send it. Like like Rusty, you know, he, he volunteered to drive by here on his way to Arkansas and bring me advice. Now, I could have said nope. And, but by not saying nope, I got a chance to meet him. Uh, we sat around and talked. We looked at some cutworm videos. We shared some stuff. Now when he sees me working, he remembers, you know, being here. And it, it, it sort of contributes to our relationship. And at a certain point, it occurred to me that like when I give somebody something, I feel better for giving somebody something probably than they feel for getting it it's like it's almost like it's more for me than it is for them and so if somebody wants to give you something and you say no you're denying them that feel goodness of it all and maybe de denying some of the relationship and i'm not saying that you could you should ask for things like a politician you know and just trying to get all you can out of folks and stuff like that I, but i am saying if, if somebody offers to help you let them help you i got to I'm not going to name any names here, but I got a buddy that I would help a lot if he'd let me. But every time I try, he's like, nope, nope, nope. And I see him needing stuff, wanting stuff, needing help. Think you let me help him? No. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's get this baby. I might crank without me working the choke. Got to work the clutch. I just realized I gotta get the rambler. I gotta get the rambler out of there before I can back this trailer in there. So, where would y'all like to sit while I do that? I don't want to run you over. I could set you. I could set you over here because I won't be coming. But then you see, it's always, a, it's always a challenge to figure out how to do this. Get the camera just right. Oh, let's see. Maybe I'll just put you in here. And then you can see there's, there's Rusty's bass. Y'all looking at that even? Yeah, there's Rusty's bass. See, right there. See what I'm talking about? Like he's part of it all now. Okay, so I'm going to set you down here. Uh, I always disconnect the battery when I'm not using this. For various and sundry reasons. I'm going to reach back to that. I'm going to pop the head down. Sure. A few layers of hot shirts on today. Because it was cold when I started, but it's warming up fast. i take this one off too. Woohoo! Okay, see me strip. Da 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 I got my glasses on, but maybe I can see how to do that. Let's see if we can.
Well, it's that thing right there. There's a screw on that. I have my glasses on. There might be a screw on that. Might be a screw on that. Under there. Yeah. But since I ain't got my glasses, I can't see it. That's screw. I can come back with the flashlight and my glasses later on. I'll come back with the flashlight and my glasses later on. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I put a link on one of my things where they sell a trailer connector for one of these and I might be worth buying one. See, all I got is this thing, a little piece. And of course, it flips around this way and that way. It's fine for pulling, but it ain't much for backing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a piece over here. I think. Kind of figure that out. And I'm going to weld a piece over there. So, uh, uh, I'm going to go get my glasses. I think they're still in my vest. Mm, well, we're doing a little bit of creative welding here. So, I think what I want to do is make a hole where this pipe can run through the back side of here. But I don't want to make such a big hole that I weaken the pipe. I might can do that with a proper combination of hammer, screwdriver, banging, grinding, and punching, and such. So, and welding. <laughs> Shock for your system to get banged around like that. I guess we move it all over here where it's safer. Maybe. Maybe. There's not a hole in the other side. Think about that. Mmm. A nice big punchy kind of thing would be good for that. Like a big Phillips head screwdriver. Work. I guess. It might work. People here would use a drill. Hey, baby. Drill would be much too neat and orderly. Try. 
やめてそれはすごいいいそれは、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、これを、I'm liking it real good. I'm liking it real good. <laughs> There's just enough violence and drama in this story to keep me interested. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Paying attention in there? Well, maybe it's in the cut where I'm out to your house now. Just well, straighten you up if you have to. I don't want to make them do that. You got more important things to do. Got all these pretty red Mustangs to work on. Get back around yonder after I beat the slag off of it and、uh, put it up, and then we got a little far going over here. Beat the slag off of it, put it back up, and then、uh, 
the other one. Flag. I got a better slag hammer. Flag your stuff that won't burn. It's, it surrounds the welding rod, keeps it from burning too fast. When it melts, it forms. But it's not, it doesn't have any strength. It's just something that's a leftover bit that's still on there from, from the process. Sometimes you see people that mark weld or the people that wire weld without gas. Knock the slag off. You don't have to, but it's better. That way you can see you real well under here. Nothing matters. Nothing matters to me because my welder ugly. I don't want to see them most of the time. But that's just a whole other that's a whole other thing. We're gonna get in now. Bring it back around, put a few more welds on the sidebar a little bit. By the way, I, I seen a picture of Resto Dan changing the trunk in his rear end in his 55 Chevy. Putting higher gear in there so he can run it on the interstate at a low RPM. I kind of like to do something that, that like that with that Rambler. Rambler has a three. What's it got? 307? I think he's got a 307 rear end. I wouldn't mind having something a, a bit higher, although it's a pretty good basic rear end. It gives it a pretty good punch without, you know, RPMing it up, but the engine rotations aren't too high when you're going down the road at driving speeds. But sometimes I think I'd like to, sometimes I think I'd like to do a lot of things, but changing the chunk and that, changing the gears in that rear end would be good. Sometimes I think I want to put a five speed with an overdrive in it and straight shift, but that's a whole other piece of work right there that I, that I fantasize about and I probably want to get around to. There's more than I want to get to in this lifetime of what's up for it. Oh, there you are. So I don't mind me chitter chattering while I work here. It's the way I am, it's what I do. That's the way I deal with it. Deal with it. some marks on the next one to bring it back around. Uh, I might just keep these big gloves on because there's probably some hot spots on that door that I don't really want to touch with my bare fingers. Let's see if I can get this to start without having to work the clutch again. If not, I'll just do it. There it goes. Whee! Turn down around big joy on the face. Hold the door. Now, I'll think about how that door goes. Crooked side goes up. So I think I need to spin it right around like this. I think I need to go this way and swing around that way. Like this. Come up this way. I might be wrong. It's on the top of the tail. Oh, joy. Go 
inside of there. Think about it and look at it. Yeah, see that side. So this side goes right here, and that side goes over there. So I'm gonna need to bring this side around like this. as hard as it looks. Maybe that's the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a little harder to look. I don't know. This should just depend on how hard it looks. Hey, eh? Look real hard. See how good that is? Now all I gotta do is hang them two pins up there. Y'all see them two pins up there? Turn y'all up. I'll look up. You're looking down now. You're looking up. Up there. You see up there? Okay. What we're going to do is get these two pins. Y'all been about halfway paying attention. Follow this. You have this little bit of metal that I welded right here. I take another little bit of metal and I weld it right here. And I can put a pin through these two. See, gravity will hold that in place. All I gotta do is. A little magical marker. Y'all know that magic markers are made in the kingdom of ooze. And they take the ooze, it leaks out of the mountain. Up on top of the mountain, you got somebody like Resto Dan. He's changing the chunk in his rear end, and that ooze is what this black stuff is. It runs down the mountain, and then they say, 
There's a bunch of dwarfs at the bottom of the mat mountain, and they're ruled by a wizard. But we won't get into that because that's political. But the dwarfs seep out the ooze, and they put it in these little tubes. Yeah, and they ship it over to us. That don't come from China. That comes from the dwarfs from the magical mountain of ooze. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, they don't teach you that in school. No, they don't. They sure don't. I think y'all gonna learn that in school? Nah, you sure ain't. Not even, not even close. Not even kind of close. Just ask Cutler and he'll tell you. He knows about these things. He's a smart fella. Just ask Rest Old Dan. He knows about this too. He's a smart fella also. So all you gotta do is you get your marks in the right place. That might be. I don't know, I can't tell. See, and now, when I take this one around there, I'll, I'll weld that onto that. Over here, here I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do over there. So, let's, let's shift your focus to over there. Let's see what we're gonna do over there. Thing don't fall down while I'm messing with it. That's always, that's always tacky. When the piece you're working on falls on top of you, it makes me feel grumpy when it happens. When it happens, you have to be careful about stuff like that. If your eyeballs is working, I think I can put something here. Questions, any problems, any cares, concerns? Y'all need to take that up with your manager or anything? If so, now's the time to say so because I'm about to rock this thing out of here. Rock your world. That's all weird. I'm about to rock this thing out of here and then we'll take it around yonder. I think I'll just go ahead and put my big glovies back on because I'm going to need them when I start welding. This should come out just about like that other one did. I'm going to rock it down. See, 
now. I don't think it matters, but it's hot. Shine off my beautiful head. I don't get a suntan on the parts that I don't want to get suntan. Might, might want to do that. I'm gonna take this and this. Unless you try to ride on the trailer, but I don't know if it'll fall over or not. I don't know if you'll fall over. Oh, Y'all feel brave? You want to try that? Try. I'll go gentle. Okay. Try to go gentle. So let's see if our ground wire is still going to reach. Put y'all back up over here. That worked pretty good before. Y'all didn't kill yourselves or anything. I didn't kill you. That's where I want that to go. And get me a little piece of pie. Hold that in place while I uh, uh, hold that. A little spot, little spot, spot well, little spot well. I'm gonna take that out. Y'all happy with that? Y'all okay if I proceed with from there? Y'all have any complaints? Y'all know the process. I ain't gonna make me go over it again, are you? Because I will. Anytime y'all need me to. In fact, I'll go ahead and go over it now. Y'all got any complaints? Write them down on a piece of paper, wrap that piece of paper up, a hundred dollar bill, send it to Cut Worm 59, Alpha in Arkansas, and address it to Complaint Department, care of Cut Worm 59, Arkansas, US of A. And then he'll handle it. Okay, any questions? If you have any questions, you know, you know the drill. Okay. <laughs> 
Here again, and we'll let you if you can handle it. Hang on for dear life, we'll lose you. Not want my hat. I did mention a while ago, I didn't want to suntan my head. I'll take, take some of these things here with me. Wrong uh, puddle there. Oopsie. Oopsie. What about that? Oopsie. Alright, bring y'all in here now. And we'll do that little dance we did a while ago when we got it off of the truck. So this time we'll do it in reverse. Y'all see me out there? Well, let's see now, which side's the top? Top to top. That top, that starts at top, looks like it needs some screws in it. I thought I could do it once it's up, but I can't. So, I believe I got some screws. I'm not going to let this down. I think I got some screws over there. We got some screws. I need that other screwdriver gun. I go get it. Y'all probably need to rest anyway. Looks like your battery's battery saying, I'm dying. I'm dying. Help me. I'm dying. I'll take y'all in the house, plug in. And I'll come back and shoot some screws. 
Oh, the joy. Be empty to get easy to get distracted by my pretty car here. Yeah, it would change all the angle. I never know what you're looking at otherwise. There you go. All right, let's go do some work. See what happens. See, I'm gonna put some screws right along that edge there. Got some itty bitty screws right here. Real right here. Like the battery's about half dead on that drill, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see if we can make it work. I'm about to put my glasses on too. All you can do is just have your way with it. Make it bend to your wishes. All right. She's like... All right. I will unbend you all over. I guess here. You can see what I'm about to do. Which is... Get y'all over here. I don't want you to fall off. Bad for business when y'all fall. It can be kind of expensive. So me, I should be able to almost stand that up. Put it right in place. And put some voltage on it. Oh, the joy. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, the joy. I need to move a little of that gravel underneath there with a shovel. But basically, for the most part, I think it's all up there pretty good. Throw a little screwy thing up here. So, I was talking about four. Well, I could put a, like a bag here between those two. And I could put a thing over here. Actually, it would be a longer thing than that. Um, and now I can put a thing over there. Y'all yeah. see where I'm going with this? And I could add additional other things, you know. In fact, I was thinking about that, you know, I got that ladder. I was thinking, well, Shoot, I could, I'm talking about where to put that ladder when I leave. And I thought, well, I could bring it in here. And I believe it's 10 feet long and stand it right across there and run a chain around it in the door. That'd make it a little harder to get in now. I'm going to run a chain around the top up there so that nobody can get that loose. I could run a chain around them poles down the bottom. That would work too. There's a lot of things I might do. But right now what I am going to do, I think, is quit. For the day.